Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to tear up a photo in GIMP. This photo here. And this is the end result. And I'm going to start with this photo here. And um, I'm going to open a new file. With the size of 800 by 600. I'm using this template. And click OK. And that's just a little bit larger than the photo that we're going to tear up. And now we're going to fill this with the following color. This color yellow. And that's f 6 e 068 and click OK and then go to your bucket fill tool and just click in the middle and you've got the right color yellow now go to filters artistic apply canvas and just click OK and now we're going to go back to our photo and go to edit copy and in here go to edit paste and this will create a floating selection and to make this a normal selection click on the new create a new layer icon here and now i've got a normal selection and i'm going to rename this layer right because it's going to be the right bit of the photo and you rename it by clicking on double clicking on the name then type in your name and press enter and now i'm gonna tear it in half with the lasso tool here and what you do is click and then click somewhere halfway of the photo and then drag where you would tear the photo up and then click outside of the photo and then click on the beginning point again to close the selection and now go to select distort and click OK and this will make a distorted selection here now go to select invert and go to edit copy and then edit paste and this will create another floating selection in your layer dialog and again click on the create a new layer icon here and now we have our left bit of the photo so i'm going to rename it so i'm going to double click on this and call this left and then press enter on my keyboard and now i'm going to click on this eye here to make this invisible and now I'm going to right click on the left layer and click alpha 2 selection and now, I'm, now I have my selection back go back to your right layer here and make your foreground color white and go to your bucket fill tool and make sure that fill whole selection in here in your tool options is ticked and just click on your image and the left bit will be white go back to your lasso tool and make a selection like you just did before but on the left side so click in the corner click here and then make a line next to the torn off bit here like this just drag it down like this and then make a point here and click on the beginning point to close the selection and now you've got another selection and again go to select distort and click OK and we've got a distorted selection next to the other one and now look at your line here I'm looking at the line in between the selection and the photograph and I think that this line is a little bit too wide so I'm going to go to select grow and I'm going to grow this by 4 pixels I think and click OK and that's fine and now I'm going to delete all the white in here by pressing delete on my keyboard and now it's gone and now go to select none and now we're going to do the same thing to the left layer so I'm going to make this visible again by clicking here so the eye appears again and then right click on the left layer and click alpha 2 selection then go to select invert and go to your bucket fill tool again and fill it in with white with the same settings and fill whole selection ticked like this and now we've got this all white and we're going to do the same thing as we did to the right uh, side of the picture with the lasso tool so I'll make a selection like this and just next to the line here drag it down like this and then close the selection by clicking on the beginning point and then again go to select distort and click OK and see what the end result is and 
for me the line between the selection the white line between the selection and the photograph is way too big so I'm gonna go to select grow and grow this by 7 pixels I think I'm gonna click OK and this looked much better and now I'm gonna delete this white bit here by pressing delete on my keyboard and now go to select none and we're almost done here just go to your move tool and move the left bit a little bit down or up just what you like best and the right bit a little bit to here I don't know just apart from each other and then go to your rotate tool and on my left layer I'm gonna rotate this a bit and I think I'm gonna rotate it like this and then click rotate and now I'm going to go to my right layer and still in my rotate tool I'm going to click on it and rotate this a bit too and click rotate and go back to my move tool because it's this looks fine to me now go to your left layer right click on it and click merge down and now it's the last step go to filters light and shadow drop shadow use the following settings 5 5 10 opacity 80 and untick allow resizing and click OK and there you're done your photo is now torn in half and lying on the canvas and I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did then maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe and thank you for watching